I'm Brad. Welcome to DIY Wouldn't You. In this video, we're going to be building this cubby bench. Hope you'll tag along with us. It should be fun. This bench is 76 inches long, 20 inches deep, and 18 inches tall to the top of the seat. Something I've been having to do lately is work on projects in our garage rather than out in my shed. Uh, just because we have a lot of stuff going on lately, I've got stuff on the workbench that I really don't want to move around too much. Bear with me, I apologize, and let's get started on this cubby bench. Now, don't mind my eyes. I got into some poison ivy. Long story, you don't want to hear it. So I go and plan, and when I say plan, well, that's what I mean. I drew this up in 3D. Let me show you what I did. I like to draw out what I'm going to be building. Um, part of the reason for that is so that I don't buy too much or too little material. I like to use a 3D design software. Um, I'm not sponsored by any. This is just one that I have, and uh, it comes in handy. A free one that you can get, though, is um, Google SketchUp. Uh, you can get SolidWorks Draft Site. That's another free one. Um, now, they all have their limitations, obviously. If they're free, uh, you know, the paid versions are going to have more things that you can do with them. But like I was saying, I like to draw up what I'm actually building so that for one thing I don't get too much or too little material, but then also because it cuts down drastically on your time cutting the parts. The homeowners have a cubby style bench in their mudroom already, and so I want this to coordinate with that. And so then I just jotted down some quick dimensions to cut my panels to size to make the assembly process a lot easier, make everything fit up just like it should. This is what the front frame is going to look like. Made out of those pre-primed 1x3s. I think I may actually start with that and then start on the rest of the panels. I don't know if that's the right way to do this or not, but well, whatever, here we go. These sexy goggles. Those are pretty darn close. Now we need five verticals. And drill our pocket holes. Want to make sure and leave about three quarters, maybe a little bit more, of a space in the middle so that when I'm routing, I don't get close to where the screws are. So now that I've got this, I think I kind of want to go ahead and route these and just get this piece done, done, and then move on to the panels. To do this route, I'm gonna be using a half inch flute, fluted, I don't know, router bit. Not only am I routing this front frame, but I'm also gonna be routing the bottom and the rear panels to recess the dividers into, uh, to try to get a tighter joint. So I'm gonna see how that goes on this build. Now we'll start on the back and the bottom panels and then work on the sides and the inside. For this bench, you actually need two sheets of plywood, four by eight, 15, 30 seconds. I realized when I was looking at my dimensions that these slots actually needed to go all the way to the top and not just from here to here. So I went ahead and routed that out the rest of the way so these dividers can run all the way up and support the top here. Not a big deal, just took a little bit of time. So I'm realizing that this is a project that you really need two people for. I don't have another person, so it's gonna be great. I'm gonna glue these dividers in and tack them in through the front and then put the bottom in and do the same thing. I'm gonna put glue along this edge here. I'm gonna put glue 
in these routes here and then I'm gonna flip it over and try to line it up really fast and get some nails in it. If you've seen any of our videos before, welcome back. It's great to see you again. If you're new to the channel, however, we'd love for you to go ahead and subscribe so that you can keep up with what we're working on. Now this is the last video of this series. The first video was a storage shelf made out of 2x4s and half inch plywood that adds a ton of storage. It's made for totes, so be sure and check that video out. The second video was a shelf underneath the window in this garage, again made out of 2x4s and half inch plywood to better organize the items in here, such as gas cans, fishing poles, planters, things like that. So make sure and check that video out as well. Here at DIY Wouldn't You, we want to inspire and educate. We want to make projects entertaining and encourage you to try something fun, learn something new, and impress yourself and your friends. We want to remind you that just because you haven't done something, it doesn't mean you can't. So keep learning, keep building, keep DIYing. I think this top's gonna to be pretty sweet. This is just some pine, I guess they call it whiteboard. So I'm gonna take this, Cut it to length, cut a strip to go across the front here, put them together, and then stain them. Alright, moment of truth for a second. It's easy to make things look easy and edit out mistakes. Um, I put one of my routes in the wrong spot, on the bottom so you'll see it. Thankfully, um, I had some wood. I took a little piece of plywood and I cut a strip and then cut that strip very skinny. And I'm gonna piece it in right there. That stinks. Part doing projects, I guess. Nothing's flawless, nothing's perfect, so. I'm just gonna patch this, putty it, sand it. This whole thing's gonna get painted, so Hopefully it'll just blend right in and you'll never know it's there. I know y'all really don't care to watch me prime or paint or anything. If this was a painting channel, it'd make more sense, but it's not, so I'll see you in a little bit. This thing is looking fresh. It's got two solid coats of primer on the whole thing. Two coats of stain and two coats of poly on the top. Last step before we install this piece is to attach the top to the bottom. Now I could have just popped some nails through the top into the bottom, use some glue. I don't want to put nail holes in the top here. So I got these little brackets that screw in. I ended up using six brackets, one on each end, and one in the center, front and back. There's the back one. There's the front one. I'll see you in their garage. Here we are. This fits perfect in here. Just up against the stairs, just up against the shelf over there. I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple screws holding this to the wall, and then I think I'll probably put a couple screws in the sides as well. There it is. Cubby bench is complete. This fits the style of this house and what they're going for in this garage just right. Uh, I think they're gonna be super pumped. The fit and finish is very nice. If you enjoyed this video or if it was helpful at all, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more fun projects that we're working on, subscribe to the channel. We'd love to see you back. If you wanna be the first to know when we post another video, hit the notification bell. I'm Brad, this is DIY Wooden. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.